Have you ever used Google Maps to find your way around town? That satellite navigation network? But did you know that the system behind it, GPS, is owned and operated by the United States? Now, China didn't want to rely on that. So it built its own version called Bidu. And today, it's not just helping China navigate, it's reshaping geopolitics, technology, and global infrastructure. Let's break it down. The name Bidu comes from the Chinese name for the Big Dipper constellation. It's symbolic since this system guides people too. Back in 1996, during a military standoff in the Taiwan Strait, China reportedly found that GPS signals were degraded by the US, and that was a wake-up call. China realized it couldn't rely on a foreign system for critical operations, military or civilian. And so, Bidu became a national priority. But it didn't appear overnight. It came out in phases. Bidu 1 was launched in 2000 with just three satellites and work only in China. Bidu 2 expanded coverage across the Asia-Pacific by 2012, and Bidu 3 has been fully operational since 2020. Global coverage with over 35 satellites now. Now, Bidu isn't just a GPS done. It has several advanced features. Number one, different orbits. Bidu uses not just one, but three kinds of satellite orbits that improves coverage in tricky areas like mountains and oceans, especially in Asia. Number two, more accuracy. Bidu gives location accuracy within one meter, which is more precise than three to five meters you usually get with GPS. Number three, two-way messaging. It even lets users send text messages handed in remote areas where there's no mobile signal. Number four, dual frequencies. It uses two frequencies for civilian use, making it more reliable in cities where signals bounce off buildings. And number five, tough to jam. Bidu's signals are harder to block or interfere with which is crucial for military operations. So it's not just another GPS. In fact, it's designed to outperform it. And today, more than 140 countries use Bidu in some way. Let's take Pakistan. It uses Bidu for military positioning, transport logistics, and strategic infrastructure monitoring. It's even been used during active conflicts. In Thailand and Indonesia, Bidu helps monitor traffic and support smart farming. In Africa, over 30 countries use Bidu for precision agriculture. Even Latin American ports are integrating Bidu into navigation system. And countries in Europe like Hungary and Serbia are beginning to adopt Bidu through Chinese partnerships. Plus, after the US-Iran-Israel conflict, Tehran is reportedly considering it too. Now, here's the big picture. Bidu isn't just about navigation, it's about power. By offering countries an alternative to GPS, China is reducing global dependence on the US building long-term digital partnership, expanding its influence in global infrastructure, and gathering geospatial data through its ground stations abroad. Some countries now have both GPS and Bidu systems. But in crisis, China's allies may trust Bidu more. So what's the takeaway? China's Bidu system is more than just satellites in space. It's a bold move for strategic independence, tech leadership, and geopolitical influence. In the past, the US had a monopoly on satellite navigation. Today, China is offering the world another option and many countries are choosing it. For more such experiences like this, subscribe to Don News English.